Hey guys, you got James here with Rex Game Studios once again. This is uh, going to be a real quick tutorial for Rex Essentials Plus Overdrive Auto Update. Uh, I never did make a video for the Auto Updater. Uh, it's real simple to use and most of you I'm sure have done it by this point. Uh, if not, for those of you that haven't, I wanted to get this out there uh, before I do the Rex 4 Texture Direct tutorial. Because uh, some of you will be using Rex Essentials Plus Overdrive as your weather engine along with Rex 4 Texture Direct's textures, um, since it's not a weather engine. I'm sure most of you are aware of that at this point as well. Uh, Rex 4 Texture Direct is 16 gigabyte of textures, uh, no weather engine included, so you will have to use uh, Rex Essentials Plus Overdrive as your weather engine, or for some of you that uh, use some other different products. Uh, it'll still be the same. I'll show you how to set that up real quick. But the main thing is uh, I want to show you this auto updater. Real simple to use. Uh, we're going to open Rex Essentials Plus Overdrive. Uh, again, it's just a habit to me now. I always right click and run as admin. It's a good habit to get into. Uh, my build is already current 3.7.213. Let's see. Let me go back up here and do this. That one comes up kind of quick. You can glance at it, but uh, I know I'm already at the latest build, but for those of you that aren't, I want to show you how to find out. You will see it on that first initial splash screen, uh, but it is quick. Once the weather download process completes here, we'll go up and click on About Rex, and that's where you'll find your version number along with some other info. Uh, 3.7. Point twenty thirteen point zero seven one five. If you are at this version, that's the latest version. Okay, uh, as of now, that's the latest version. So if you're already setting at this, you've already done the auto update, obviously. Um, also, some other good information on this this page of the about rec section here is the website where you can find the auto update. So if you haven't auto updated yet if your version's anything but this you can click directly on this link the www.rexgamestudios.com and that'll take you where you need to go to pull up the auto updater go to products all the way at the very bottom you'll see rex auto update click on that uh, here's the user manual if you need to download that you can it's right there otherwise scroll to the bottom and click download now uh, I use a download manager, uh, IDM, Internet Download Manager is the one I use. I highly recommend, and Rex highly recommends that you uh, use a download manager anytime you're downloading large files like Rex products. Uh, we can go ahead and open the folder, and it's going to be right here. So we will right-click, run as admin on that. And you can actually go ahead and close out the screen. Yes. Okay, at this point, you want to close Rex before you start this up. So we'll close Rex. But I did want to show you that that's where you find your version number. And you can also click on the, the direct link to the Rex website to download the auto updater. Uh, obviously, you know, we want it going where it's pre-defaulted pre to go to. That's the location we want it to install in. Uh, you agree? Yes. Click install. As I said, I'm already up to date on mine, uh, but I will show you. I'll run through it and show you how to use it. Uh, if you're not up to date, it'll tell you you're not up to date, and it will tell you uh, you need to update to this version. And I'll show you where all that will show up. Uh, click Finish when this is done. This is Put the Software Updates. You can right-click and run as admin on this, and it should tell us we have everything. Okay. Software is up to date. Click that. This is the one we're looking for, the Rex Auto Update. Uh, I just clicked that to make sure we are up to date with the software. Uh, click Run as admin again on the Rex Auto Update. Okay, 
the way this works, it's real simple. Step one and step two, okay? Step one, select the product you want to install an update for. We're going to click this. Open it up on the drop-down menu. You have to choose what version of Rex you have, okay? You know, I told you when we first started that my version, the 3.7.2013.0715, is up to date. If you're at that version, you have Rex Essentials Plus Overdrive, and you are totally up to date, okay? If you don't have Overdrive, and you're just running Rex Essentials Plus, or any of these other ones, you need to update. But the one thing it's not going to do is this update will not update you from Rex Essentials Plus to Rex Essentials Plus Overdrive. You still have to do that manually. All this is going to do is update the current version of Rex that you have to the latest version, okay? So it's real important if you're running, you know, for example, if you have Rex Essentials Plus, don't click Rex Essentials Plus Overdrive thinking it's going to update you to Overdrive. It's not going to do that. Uh, reiterate it again. If you have Rex Essentials Plus, this auto updater will not update you to Overdrive. You have to do that manually. So you need to choose whatever product you have. So let's say, since I have Rex Essentials Plus Overdrive, that's what I want to update. If you only have Rex Essentials Plus, then you'll click on the top one here. If you have it for X-Plane, so on and so forth, click the version that you're running. It is not going to update you to OverDrive from Plus, okay? Uh, so this is the version I have. I'm going to click on that. And then the second step is to browse to the folder. This is your Rex folder. So mine's on my C root C drive. So I will go down until I find Rex. Essentials Plus Overdrive. If you're running Rex Essentials Plus, you would have clicked on the first thing up here, and then you would search, browse down here for Rex Essentials Plus. So I have Overdrive. I'm going to click this. You can either double-click that or click it once to highlight it and then click OK. Either way works. Okay, it searches, it finds it, and it tells me my version is up to date. Okay, if you get this, you're up to date. If you are not up to date, what's going to happen is it's going to say, hey, you need to update to version blah, blah, blah. And then you'll click OK. And it will download it, and it will automatically install it and update it for you. Some of you, if you've never used this and you're running an earlier version of Rex, you may do this three or four different times. Once you update to this version, it may come back up in red here and say, OK, now you need to update to this version. Click OK again. Let it update to that version. Then it may come up again and say, okay, now you need to update to this version. I've had it happen where, you know, when I first did it, testing it out five times, I had to keep updating five times to get to the latest version. That's okay. If, if that's where you're at with Rex, then obviously you want it up to date. So do it as many times as it tells you you need to do it until you're up to date to the current version. Uh, with Rex Essentials Plus Overdrive, the current version is that the one that I showed you earlier on mine? It's the 3.7.2013.0715. Okay, that's the current version. Uh, if you're not sure, run this. If it tells you your version's up to date, then you're up to date. Uh, again, this is this is just a quick quick tutorial here showing you how to get through this. Um, again, I'll reiterate this again. When you start this process, step one. Pick the version of Rex that you are currently running. Don't pick the one you want. What I'm getting at is don't think, okay, Rex Auto Up, select the product you want to install an update for. Well, I want to update to Rex Essentials Plus Overdrive because I'm only running Essentials Plus. And a lot of people will click this. And it won't work because you don't have Overdrive already. Like I said, I'll say it again. This will not update you from Rex Essentials Plus to Rex Essentials Plus Overdrive. You have to choose the current version of Rex that you are running, and it will update automatically update you to the current version of that Rex product. It will not update you to OverDrive. That still has to be done manually, and that update can be found on the support forums.
uh, and it's a pretty simple process. There is a tutorial, uh, Rex Game Studios tutorial that I made last year covering that step-by-step -step process on how to do that. So if you haven't updated from Rex Essentials Plus to Overdrive, which is a free update and upgrade, you need to go to the other video on either our website or our YouTube channel and find the tutorial if you need help updating Rex Essentials Plus to Rex Essentials Plus Overdrive. Like I said, that is a free upgrade. Uh, you just need to do it manually. But there is a video tutorial out there walking you through that process. Uh, this, getting back to the Rex Auto Updater, will not upgrade you from Rex Essentials Plus to Rex Essentials Plus Overdrive. So when you choose your product, choose in step one here, choose the product you currently have installed and are using. That's what you're going to update. So if you just have Rex Essentials Plus, you would click Rex Essentials Plus, then you would browse to your Rex Essentials Plus folder. Click on double click it or click it once to highlight it, click OK, and then it will tell you if you're up to date or not. If you're up to date, in red right here, it'll say your version is up to date. If not, in red, it will tell you you need to update to this version. Click OK. It may do it once and bring you up totally current. You may have to do it two, three, four times until you're totally up to date with the latest build. Um, whatever the case is, just keep clicking OK. It'll walk you through it. It'll let you know when you're done. It'll finally say your version is up to date. Um, other than that, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple, guys. And at this point, most of you have done it. But because I never did make a tutorial for this, I wanted to cover it real quick. So like I said, this is going to be a real short one. Uh, at this point, I'm finished with this. Pretty simple to use. You close this out once you're done. Uh, and it tells you you're up to date. You can then, you know, if you don't want these icons on your desktop, you can delete those. And it only deletes the the icons. It doesn't delete the update. Uh, and if you need the update again, or if you're not sure in a few months if you updated or whatever, you can always open Rex Essentials back up and go to the version number and make sure what version you got or you can go to your download section where that downloaded to the update downloaded and run it again uh, but that that pretty much covers the auto updater uh, that is free to use uh, and again if you have Rex Essentials Plus and you haven't upgraded to overdrive that's still available it's a free upgrade uh, it adds about 12 13 gigabyte of new textures and stuff to Rex Essentials Plus um, and it is a great thing to use. Anyway, that's that's the basis of this. You know how to do the Rex auto update now and get you to the current version of Rex. Uh, again, you can find that in the in the about Rex section. Uh, if you're if you're running Rex Essentials Plus Overdrive, and you see 3.7.2013.0715, you are up to date. That as of now is the current version. Uh, to get to the, if you're not at that, all you need to do is go down here and click on company website. It'll take you to the Rex Game Studios website. Click on products once you're there. Last one down is the Rex Auto Update. Download it. Run it. Uh, it'll do everything for you automatically. Uh, I think I pretty much covered everything. Like I said, I'm going to, I want to make this one real quick. I'll get into more depth on uh, Rex 4 Texture Direct in that video and show you how to use these two together a little bit more. But uh, at this point, we should be good. So you should know how to use the Rex Auto Updater from this. And uh, we hope you enjoy it. And happy flying, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.